OAB is a triangle, OAB is a triangle, M is on OA, M is on OA such that the ratio OM to MA is 3 to 1. N is on OB such that ON to MB, ON to MB, so AB is 2 to 1, and then P is on MB such that the ratio uh, MP to uh, P B is 1 to 2. OA, vector OA is A, and vector OB is B. Fine in terms of A and B, MB, MP, and AN. Vectors MB, MP, and AN, and hence show that APN is a straight line. So I've got to show that this is going to be a straight line. So... If we draw, take the diagram and start annotating it, you should, in an exam, annotate it with a pencil. So this, we are told, is the ratio of 3 to 1. This, we are told, is the ratio of 2 to 1. And this, we are told, is the ratio of 1 to 2. It's important you get the ratios around the right way. O A is A. There we represent it. And O B is B. Right, so to find M B, so we're going to go from M to B. So we need to uh, do a root. So you should write the root down in capital letters first. So it's vector MO plus OB. Now MO is three quarters along of AO, because this is the ratio of three to one, plus OB. So that's going to be three quarters, minus three quarters of A. It's minus because you're going against the arrow, plus B. And normally we re re rewrite that as b minus three fourths of vector of a. Don't forget to put the squiggly line underneath your vectors. B vector m to p m to p. Well, we now have the vector m b, and so it's going to be one third of vector m b. So all we need to do is take one third of my previous answer, and then take that in. That's going to give me one third of b. Now the threes will cancel out, so it'll be one quarter of A. Carrying on, we've still got a diagram here. C, we had to find the vector A to N. So we have to go from here to here. So we're going to go AO plus ON. AO is okay, but ON is, is two thirds along OB. So that's going to be minus A, because we're going against it, plus two-thirds of B, because OB is B. And then they rewrite that the other way around. So it's two-thirds of B minus A. Right, we now have to show that ABN is a straight line. So we've already got one vector on that, which is AN. So if we now find the vector AP and show that AN is some multiple of AP, then we have shown that they lie on a straight line. So AP, so going from A to P is the same as going A to M plus M to P. Now, A to M is one quarter of AO plus MP. One quarter of AO is minus a quarter of A, minus because you're going against the arrow. And in a previous part, we have calculated in part B what MP was, which is one third of B minus one quarter of A. So collecting like terms up, that's going to give one third of B minus two over four, which is a half of A. Right, you now need to know that AN, which is this one, if we multiply this one through by 2, we will get this vector here. For example, 2 thirds of B minus A, which is this one, will be 2 times this one. If we take the 2 in here, that will get 2 thirds, and then the 2 will cancel. So this one is a scalar multiple of the other one. Therefore, that means that AN is parallel to AP. A n is parallel to A p, and as A is a common point to both, then A p n is a straight line. So this has been a video to show you how to find vectors, and then use um, the idea, use a vector method to show that three points lie in a straight line. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.